Hi guys and welcome to Traft Tutorials. So in these videos we are going to show you on how you can set up your Traft account, start using it and accepting your first bookings, how you can set up your booking website, use just the booking form embedded onto a website you already have, uh, track your finances, your customers and basically many 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 more features that Traft uh, has. This video is just going to be a short onboarding, a quick start showing you how you can set up your Traft account and start accepting your first booking. So, okay, let's just dive right in. I'm currently on the trap.com page. We just go try for free and this will take you to sign up, which takes less than a couple of minutes. Let's use a dummy email for this. John Doe at Gmail. John, okay. Last name Doe. And then just enter the password to your account. Uh, once we click continue, you will be redirected to the next step of the sign up where you set up uh, the information regarding your company. So you would choose your uh, business, your industry in which you operate and your company operates, your company name. So let's say law by John and then your company URL is basically what the booking website for your account, uh, the URL of it, which you can send to your clients, customers, etc, etc, etc. So lawbyjohn.trap.com is your booking website and then lawbyjohn.admin.trap.com would be your admin area or admin dashboard where you can log in. So agree to terms of use, continue. And this is the last step here. You choose the template for your booking website. So uh, which template suits your business? I'm just going to use the dark one. But don't worry because this step is um, for the first iteration you can create it. And then when we log into the account, uh, you can under customize, you will see the options to, to change it even more and customize the booking website even more. So your booking website can be found here by clicking on this uh, top left button booking website and you're redirected to basically what your customers can see. This is just some dummy data that Traft created for you based on your industry selection, but these can be deleted at any time or point. So don't worry about those or you can even edit them, change them to suit your business. So, okay, you said accepting your bookings. Let's dive right in. Uh, first, what you would need to do is create a service. So a service is something that you provide, uh, what you're offering to your customers and what is up for booking uh, with your company. So let's say law consult uh, consultation. And then you have all of the additional options which you can configure, upload an image, choose a color, category, add a description, and the only mandatory thing is you need to set the duration of how long the service uh, lasts while they're, while they're booking. You can set the price. And for now, the employee we will gonna leave as is until we create an employee that we can, uh, we can use. Uh, so add service. This will take you to uh, more configuration options for your services. For now, we're going to leave it as is. And then in the further videos, we're going to show you how you can configure them even more. Okay, next step, employees. So under employees, add employee. These are just some dummy employees plus you as the admin. Let's say Jane though, it's a family business, why not? <laughs> and then her email. And that's it. Uh, you can add a short description, but this is just internally for you. This is not shown the, on the booking website, just the service the description is. So save changes. And okay, Jane Doe created. <laughs> Once we go back to services, we open up the service that we just created and under settings, add your employee, which you have just uh, created. And this is it. Now you are able to offer this service and have it uh, available for booking. Of course, same as for the services section, the employees section. If you go under edit, you will see many, many other options. You can add custom pricing for configure the working hours. So when your service is available for booking, days off, special days, etc., etc. But all of these we will cover in different videos. This is just your guide to setting it all up and starting. So if we go on the booking website, you can see log consultation, book now. And then if you go, you can choose if you want your customers to book with an account, so they would need to log in or just continue as guests, which is what I'm going to do uh, for this video. Okay, they choose their date, they choose their time, 25th 
of August at 10, they entered their credentials. So let's say Mary Smith, Mary Smith at gmail.com and book. Okay, so this is it. This is the booking process, the booking form. Now they have booked their appointment. They can add it to the calendar. And if we go back to your uh, admin dashboard, are there appointments? Uh, you can see Mary Smith on the 25th of 10. So that's it. Uh, that appointment has been booked. If you click on it, you can see the details. You can edit the appointment. And of course, you can also view it under the calendar page. Uh, you can see all of the appointments that have been booked. Uh, with you. And that's it. That's the rundown of how you set up your draft account and start accepting your first online bookings and start um, configuring your booking website and your admin dashboard area. Again, this is just a short and sweet video on how you get started. And we will do more extensive tutorials on each of these options in the future. Uh, but if you have any specific re requests, what you would like to see us film and what uh, if you have any other questions regarding draft, please leave those down below in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.